Hi, hi. Hello. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, I'm very tired, but it was very good today. Okay, excellent. It's Friday, you don't work tomorrow, right? Do you? No, tomorrow and Sunday is uh, are my day off. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. You have some time to, to relax a little bit. That's great. Yes. Yes, teacher. That's very necessary. Very, very necessary to have at least one day during the week. So you can relax a little bit. And recharge batteries, right? That's very, very necessary. Well, it's Friday. We're getting to our session number 10 today. Let's see how many people are here. Uh, Ab Abner Adoni. Abner Adoni. Alexa. Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa, no here Ana Luisa. Andre, Angie, Melissa, Arely, Erling. I'm your teacher. Okay. Irma Noemi. Carla Milena. Present teacher. Uh, Maria Epifania. Marta Marisol. Mauricio. Present teacher. Mm. Mauricio, le cambió la voz. <laughs> <laughs> Present teacher. Ok. Miguel, Miguel Ángel, Nancy Katia. Present. Oscar. Oscar. Silvia. Silvia Evelyn. Here, see. Ursula. Present, teacher. Present. Good evening. William. Present, teacher. Thanks. Vaya, hoy voy a llamar a los que no estaban, como lo llamé. Eh, Abner Adoni. I hear. Abner, me debe las dos unidades de la plataforma. Yes, teacher. Today is, is that time. And don't forget the midterm exam, too. Okay. Alexa. Alexa, Alexa. Ana Luisa. 
Andrei, Anji, Adelí, María, Marta, present teacher, Oscar, Silvia, 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 no Silvia. Present teacher. Bien. María, María, María. María. Teacher, voy en camino ahorita. María, ¿verdad? Vaya, María. ¿Cuántos tengo? Dos, sí. Yes, teacher. Bueno, tenga cuidadito. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Hay uno que no me dijo present, pero que está aquí. ¿Quién? ¿En quién? Irma, Carla Mauricio, Erlin, Arlene. Ok, bueno. Nice to see you again. Marta Marisol, ¿le puse present o no le puse present? No sé. Marta, Marta, sí. Ya está, Marta. Ok, well, nice to see you. Nice to see you. It's Friday. It's the end of unit number two. And it's the day when you should be complete up to midterm exam. Remember, midterm exam has to be complete today. Si me tienen pendiente todavía el midterm, ahí se acuerdan, ¿verdad? Solo terminar la clase, darle rapidito. Está fácil, bien fácil está. Eh, no le va a costar mucho hacerlo porque lleva las primeras dos partes de la unidad 1 y las otras dos partes de la unidad 1. Está fácil. ¿Verdad? Si es que eh, aprovechen de ponerle las pilas. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Any question? La pasión. Today, we are going to be finishing unit two, and it is vocabulary practice where we have a review of all the, the vocabulary and the structure. Um, for unit two, but that, that's a review. Okay. Vocabulary and practice. When we say vocabulary, we're going to check the vocabulary that we were using in the unit. That was not much. It was more structure that we were using. Remember, in this unit, we were working with all the, the models. Well, not all, but many of the models <coughs> were covered in this unit. <laughs> okay, and check the objective. Participants will be able to role play a conversation in which one employee is asking for a raise using the vocabulary <coughs> and the grammar learned during the unit. Correct, right? Using the vocabulary and the grammar in a correct way, right? That's what we are going to be checking. <laughs> now, uh, remember these steps that we were using at the beginning of the unit. 
when making an online purchase. What you're going to do is match the two parts, right? So we have credit cards. ¿Y cuál es la otra parte que le falta? Right? So make the matching. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes <laughs> for you to match. We can say um, part A and part B. When you finish, you let me know which check. Mm-hmm. I married some. ¿Cómo estamos? Are you ready? 
Ready. Okay. Vaya, vamos a ver. Credit cards. Credit cards, ¿qué? Okay. <coughs> uh -huh. Credit card information. Information. Oh. Credit card information. Yes. What's the next one? Confirm your information. Mm -hmm. Ready, car information. And digo, confirmation. Confirm your information. Mm -hmm. What did you match that with? I think it's submit, but I'm not sure. Sí. Sí, sí, sí. Select item. <coughs> to purchase. Select the item to purchase. Go to the go to the online web page. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go to the online web page. Right. Mm -hmm. Right billing address. Right your your billing address. Right your or account. your account. Uh -huh. Right your billing address. Check. Check the price. Mm -hmm. Check the price. Confirm. Confirm the method payment. of payment. Uh -huh. Confirm the method of payment. And the last one. Login. Login to purchase. No. Ya lo usamos. Check. Select the items to put. Check. Log in to your account. To your account. Exactly. Log in to your account. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ah. So you have credit cards information. Confirm your information and submit. Select the item to purchase. Go to the online page, web page, write your billing address, check the price, confirm the method of payment, and log in to your account. Of course, they are not in order there, right? Uh -huh. Here you have the, the, the ones that you were just completing. Now, do you remember in what order they should go? Do you remember the order? The first one is login to your account. Okay. Login to your account. I think the first is go to the online online page web page. So first go to the page and then login to your account. Yes, I think it's the okay. 
Yeah. yeah. It's it's logic. Okay, here. And then here. What about number three? Confirm your information. But there are two steps before that. Number three is select the item to purchase. Uh -huh. Select the item to purchase. And then? Check the price. Mm -hmm. After that? Write the billing address. Write the billing address. And then? Confirm the meds of climate. Mm -hmm. And then? Credit card information. The last one should be this. Yeah, confirm your information and submit. Correct? Yes, this teacher. Those are yes. steps for shopping online. Probably in depending on the page you're visiting, some uh, steps may vary, right? But depending on, on the page that you are visiting. Okay. Now, remember yesterday we were talking about, no, it was when the, the day before yesterday, right? that you were talking about uh, people returning things or when they are not satisfied with a product and they have a, a problem, right, with something that they bought. What you're going to do today is uh, think about some reasons. Remember that day we were talking about what you would do to help the customer. Today, you will think about valid reasons why customers can ask for a refund and reasons when they cannot ask for a refund. You're going to write here the name of the product, right? And then you write acceptable reasons for returning that product and an ask an unacceptable reason for returning that product, okay? El nombre del producto, vamos a poner, no el nombre de ustedes, soy el nombre del producto. For example, a pair of shoes, you can, it can be acceptable to return a pair of shoes because the first day you put them on, they go a hole. Or, or you lost the, the, the heel of the shoe or something, right? Something happened with the shoes. Or they started peeling, so whatever, right? So what are some acceptable reasons for that? Um, an, an, an unacceptable reason, at least here in El Salvador, would be like, mire, lo compré, yo ya no me gusta. Right, so that's not a good reason for it for uh, changing or returning the shoes, right? Bye. I'm going to send you to the rooms. Let me see how many are there. I will to Well, I'm going to make only, only two groups because I know some people are on the way still, right? The page. This is on page 27. In your manual, page number 27. 
So go to the page, find the information, complete it. I'm going to make only two groups. Porque hay varios que están oyentes, entonces prácticamente van a estar tres activos cada uno. Esperando que los que están aquí se me logren conectar, ¿verdad? Vaya, let's go. ¿Ya encontraron la página? Yes. Yes, teacher. ¿Ya saben qué es lo que van a hacer? ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahí? Mencionar tres productos y ver si son reembolsables o no reembolsables. Uh -huh. Y cuáles son las razones, ¿verdad? Para poderlo reembolsar y las razones para decidir a mis usuarios para que me no help. Ok, let's go. Try to join. What's happening? Excellent. Good name. Well, number one, the product. The product. Okay, number one. And tablet? Yes, it could be a tablet. Okay, tablet. Mm. Podríamos decir um, una razón aceptable por la cual se pueda dar un cambio. Podría ser una batería hinchada. O podríamos decir una batería, o oh, una batería broken. Sí. Podríamos decir así, teacher. Ok, entonces pongámosle una acceptable reason, acceptable uh, reason. Uh, yeah. battery broken, and unacceptable, it could be uh, a screen broken. No, sé, no le oímos. Una pantalla. Una pantalla quebrada. Porque quebrada. Se al cliente. I'm sorry, yo estoy en mute. <laughs> mute. You sure it, it could be that? Mm -hmm. Sí, sí. Uh, uh, it's been broken. Yeah. Because the customer fell down the, the tablet. The customer dropped the tablet. Ah, uh -huh. but if the customer dropped it, it's not acceptable to. to. Yeah, it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. 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 Okay. Unacceptable. Okay, tenemos ya el primero, ¿verdad? Yeah. Okay, the second one can be what? Lo más común, the watch TV, no, TV. TV, the smart TV. A smart. Uh -huh, the smart TV. Smart TV. Oh, mm -hmm. Smart TV. Unacceptable. Una ah. acceptable reason can be what? Mm. Unacceptable reason. Mm. 
No entiendo. Uh, ¿El qué? No. ¿Entiende? ¿No enciende? Ajá, pero... ¿Qué hace el chorno? 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 ¿Qué hace el Glitch. ¿Cómo falla? Eh, es? Como que pierde el color o de repente se queda en blanco. Ah, podemos decir de the, the TV, the Smart TV doesn't work. Yeah. Because the screen is 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 failed. No, it's failed now. Mm -hmm. Has a has has a line in the middle. Uh -huh. Things like the stars. Uh -huh. <laughs> y si tiene una línea en medio o algo así, uh -huh. suele pasar. Eh, y en el unacceptable, it could be eh, the, the smart TV doesn't work because it, yesterday it was a uh, electric rain. Hubo eh, una tormenta eléctrica. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo podemos decir que se quemó? It got born. It got born during the electric storm. During the electric storm. Okay. Uh, but in that case, sometimes the companies do not do not accept. Yeah, they don't have, accept that. It's outside to the warning. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Vaya, tenemos dos. Pero el tercero que no hello, 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 hello. hola, no hay nadie aquí. Hello, teacher, aún voy en camino. Úrsula, André, Irma. Todavía voy en camino. Y Úrsula. Y uno. Hola, hola. Úrsula, hello. Hello, teacher. No está disponible, Úrsula. Estoy, aquí estoy, pero no, no me oye. Sí, la oigo. Ah, me escucha. Ah, perdón, sí. es que no sé qué le pasó a mi teléfono. No estoy trabajando porque creo que mis compañeros están de oyentes. Pero que le hablen. No voy en camino. No, puede, no, pueden, no pueden escribir, pero le pueden comentar a María para que María escriba, no Úrsula. Para que Úrsula escriba. Ah, ok. Ah, okay le pueden ir diciendo y que ella vaya tomando nota. Ok, perfecto. Sí. Ok. Um, ¿Cuál sería un producto? Computer. 
Hola. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Sí, can be clothing. Repeat, please. No le entiendo. No, no le entiendo. Pueden poner, ajá, shoes. Shoes dice Irma, sí. Can be shoes. Shoes. Put some clothing. Uh, I put jeans. That's okay. Mm -hmm. What would be a reason for returning jeans? Um, eh, are not the correct size. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And the unacceptable reason, uh, my son made a hole to the jeans. <laughs> oh. Eh, ese había puesto yo en y the computer. For example, acceptable reason, keyboard doesn't work very well. And... Uh-huh. A computer, sí. A computer, sí. Yeah. Pueden variar, the, the products can vary. Mm -hmm. And the reasons for returning are totally different, right? So that's the thing. Okay. La, eh, la, la razón de los shoes, ¿cuál sería? That they have a hole. <laughs> you started using them que about a week ago, and now you see they have a hole. Oh, they, okay. the heel is broken. They are high heels, right? Uh, unacceptable reason? Hola. Aceptable. Ese era anaceptable. Ah, no, ¿verdad? Aceptable, sí. Pues sí. Y me invita a esa hole, of course, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, an acceptable reason. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, I don't know. An acceptable <laughs> would be that now you don't like them anymore. You were. I'm excited mm -hmm. with them when you saw them in the store, but when you got home, it was like, mm, I don't like don't them like anymore, so I want to change them. Don't uh, like the color. You don't like the color, but you bought them, right? So you bought them. So, uh -huh. so that would be unacceptable because okay. somebody can tell you, huh? But you bought them. So why now you don't like them? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I see. Okay. In another country, según las movies, beta, se lo aceptarían. Retornar. Mm -hmm. But here, but no. Here, no. No, it's very mm -hmm. difficult. Very difficult. Here, no. They will say, you were happy with them before, why don't you like them now? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Give them so sorry. To, you can give them to somebody in your family. Oh, correct. 
Okay. I we have one, two, three. You have three right already. Yeah. Ah, perfect. Vamos, pues. Okay. Let's go. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Waiting, waiting for everybody to come. Twenty five seconds. Good. Good. Okay. Bueno, vamos a ver. Fíjense que inconsciente fue la compu. Dividió niñas y niños. ¿Se fijaron? Sí, teacher. Eh, en el grupo de nosotros iba una. Una niña. Dos, pero... dos sí. había. Dos había. Dos. Pero no hablaron. Ajá, estaban oyentes. <risa> Ahí estaba. y, y en el otro grupo había un niño, pero era oyente. Ah. Así es que van a ver la diferencia en los productos. <risa> ah, sí. sí. <risa> yeah, definitely. Vaya, a ver. I want to hear you first voice. First voice. Yeah. What was your, fir your first product? What is the acceptable and what is an unacceptable risk? Okay, we are going to talk about makeup. Nah, it's a, it's just a kidding. <laughs> este, the first one, uh, we, we are talking about a tablet. The name of the product is tablet. Okay. The acceptable reason that you can ask uh, for reform or for change the product it could be the battery is low or the battery is broken and the product doesn't work. Okay. And this the uh, battery doesn't charge. Yeah, the battery doesn't, doesn't charge. Doesn't charge. Okay. Yeah. You imagine. And and the product mm -hmm. never turn on. The and, yeah, and the unacceptable reason that you could you can't change the product. It could be the, the screen is broken because you drop drop you off drop the, it. Uh -huh. drop it the, the product. And the the company never changed the, the product when you are broken the, uh -huh. the uh -huh. product. if you broke it, if you got it broken, yeah. But it, it, but if you broke it yourself, oops, I had an accident. Yeah, <laughs> it's your responsibility, right? And William, nos va a contar la segunda. Okay, William. Me voy a adelantar y voy a contar lo de la comida. Okay. <laughs> de pollo campero. Oh. <laughs> en aceptable ah. rains. Is the chicken a right school when I go to the home? That would be acceptable. Acceptable. Okay. And no acceptable uh, is no uh, the when you change the order when the order is already in the place. In place. Mm -hmm. uh, y Mauricio nos va a contar el siguiente producto. Okay. Uh, Erling, tell me. Do not read down. <laughs> uh, Sorry. We were talking about the smart TV. Yeah, please. Que te ayude? <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. The acceptable reason that you can uh, change the product or receive the reform, it could be a uh, if the product 
doesn't work or never turn on. You can't never use the, the product. And that is an accepta it's acceptable reason to change the product. Mm -hmm. And an acceptable reason to change the product, it could be when you want to change the product because uh, the last time on your house, it, it was raining and it was a uh, electron storm and the, and the TV receive, received the uh, uh, strike. Electric, uh, yeah. uh -huh, strike. Strike. And it yeah. got born. Uh -huh. And later the the TV doesn't work and never turn on is because for the electric storm. And uh -huh. that is an acceptable reason. That is an unacceptable reason. You know, the only thing that you get changed that is born that way because of an electric storm is the modem of the internet. Ah, it's they good change. to know that. Yeah. Because I remember once we had a problem with the modem that there was a, an electric storm and the modem was born. Then we took it to, to the company, right? And they said, yeah, they made all the tryings, right? To see if, how it worked. And then they said, yeah, we're going to exchange it. We're going to give it another one because it was completely born. But we have had that modem for, for about two years. So it was not new, right? It was not like you got it last week and now you born it, right? So we have had it for two years. Then they said like, it's time. It's time to change it. So they changed it. So that was a good reason. Let's see, group number two, the girls. What products you do you have? I we have a com a computer. Mm -hmm. uh, the keyboard of the computer doesn't yeah. work. Doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, that is a, an acceptable risk. And an um, acceptable reason is I broke the screen of the computer. <laughs> Good computer. And, and uh, we have a shoe. Uh, uh, an acceptable reason, they have a hole. And uh, uh, only one week to use. Exactly, you have worn them just for a week and now they have to move. So that's not possible. We, okay, and unacceptable, unacceptable. And unacceptable? Uh -huh. unaccept, unacceptable reason is uh, I don't like it, the color anymore. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When I saw them in the store, I liked them, but now that they are in my house, I don't like don't them. Don't like it. Mm -hmm. And the other product is a jeans. A pair of jeans. Uh, a pair of jeans. Uh, acceptable wisdom, uh, the jeans are not the correct, the correct size. And unacceptable wisdom is my, I make a hole to the king. Okay. You want um, them to look fashionable with a hole. <laughs> <laughs> and I we write a, a book. If the book have missing page. Okay. 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 And um, an acceptable reason. I spill water under the book. Okay. So you bought them and then you say, oh, shh, that's so expensive. Right? I want to get my money back. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about if you say, well, I, you know what? I already read the book. I want my money back. 
<laughs> okay, so they will say like, what? We should not give you the money back if you are yeah. going to read the book. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Those are very nice reasons. So you see, the, the things or the products that you got were totally, totally different. None of them were repeated, right? Now, let's go to some practice. Remember, in this unit, we were talking about a demonstrative pronoun, right? We were using, we were using this and we were using this. We say, well, we use this for singular and we use the, this, this, right? Like, eh, como que está riendo así. Para la foto. <laughs> so we say this and this, this for plural. To talk about people or things near us, we use this or this, right? Remember this for singular. This is a nice cup of tea. Who shows like this plural, right? You also use this to talk about a. To, to introduce people. So you say, this is Janet. These are my friends, John and Michael. This is John and this is Michael. Yeah? You don't say, these are John and Michael. You say, this is John and this is Michael. Or, these are my friends, John and Michael. Also, to begin a conversation on the phone, you say, hello. Hello, this is David. Can I speak to Sally? You don't say, hello, I am David, right? Hello, I am David. Can I speak to Sally? Mm -mm. You say, hello, this is David. So this is another use for the word this, right? For the demonstrative pronoun. So remember, we mentioned last time that we use them for singular or plural. In, when with something is near. We also uh, said that we use it to talk about the present, right? This year, this week, this month, right? So we use this, but also when we want to introduce a person, you know what? This is my friend, Maria. This is my friend, Janet. This is Janet. This is Juan, right? So if we are introducing a friend to some other people, we use this. When you begin a conversation on the phone, I will say, hello. Hello, this is Soila. Can I speak to Ursula? Right? So I don't say, hello, I am Soila. I say, this is Soila. And that's a way for a beginning a phone conversation. Now, when we use that and those, remember that we use them when we're talking about something that is far, right? It's not near, it's far, right? If something is far, we are going to use that and those. That for singular, those for two. So you say, what's that? Oh. That is my house, right? This is my house. That is Rebecca's house. So over, over there. Cuando usted dice over there, significa es por allá, right? That's Rebecca's house over there. Those are very expensive shoes. Those. Esos que están allá. Far, right? Those, that. Now, what you're going to do in this exercise is choose the correct answer, right? So you have the four options. Uh, remember, which is used for singular, near, singular, far, plural, near, and plural, far. Mm 
La primera es singular. This. Hello, this. This is Sandra speaking. How may I help you? Yeah. This is Sandra speaking. What about number two? Jeremy are my, my parents, Catherine and Roger. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Those are my parents. And they're royal. Mm -hmm. Would you say those? Or this? No. I think it's this. This. This, this right? This. 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 These are my parents. These are my parents. Mm -hmm. Those si lo estuviera viendo por allá. Those are my parents over there. Okay, what about here? Who's that over there? Uh, who's that over there? I know. Who's that over there? I know the face, but I can't remember the name. Rita. This. This is Paul. This is Paul. This is Paul. He's an old friend from school. Hi, Paul. How are you? This, verdad? This is a new friend from school. Now, what about this one? Who are? Yes. In the garden. So. Those, no, uh -huh. Who are those people in the garden? They are my my cousins from Scotland. Yes. What about number two? Look. This. This is my business card. Give me a call next week. Mm -hmm. Do you have a business card? Do you have a business card? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's where you have all your information, right? And your phone, email address. Now people put even Instagram and Facebook and all the information there. Okay. Um, hmm. Now, here, what you're going to do is complete the sentences using the correct using the correct means that these and those. Okay, that's what you're going to do. Complete using this, that, these and those. Any question here? No question? Not sure. No question. I'm going to paste the page in the in the chat. Is that this and those? Those are the words that you have to use. I'm going to paste the, the exercise in the chat. Thank you. 
Vale, los voy a mandar a, a los grupos chiquitos. Vamos a ver si, si nos logramos. Hmm, ya veo 15. ¿Será que podemos hacer tres grupos? Yes, Cabal, do you like those shoes? Mm, si los anda usando, no están tan lejos. A ver. Esperemos que... Uh -huh. Exactly, basically. Vaya, try to join the room. Let's see how you do. Check, check. Hello. Ay, María, la acabo de mover para que a ver si le aparece ahora el grupo. Cheque, la mandé al dos. Ah, ahorita, dice. Nice. Tres, dos. Ponerle uh -huh. this, that, this, on this. Sí. Okay. En el primer caso sería this. ¿Cómo es, teacher? This, 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 this. 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 Uh -huh. this. Do you like this? this. Shoes I'm uh -huh. wearing. I have, I bought. Boy. Boy, then in the sal. Boy, in the in the sal. Uh huh. I like yeah, que sería yo like amo that. esta sería this. I like this shirt. I like this shirt. It looks it looks very good. You. Mira, está como que anda por su sí, casa. Sí, el es camisa, ¿verdad? Shirts. Shirts. Ya. Y t-shirt es camiseta. Sí, shirt es ah. camiseta. Sí, shirt. I like shirt. I like this shirt sería, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. I like this yes. shirt. Entonces, la I primera love... es de esa. De esa. De esa, perdón. La, la do, la do, this. This. Three. Ah, I love. That es plural. Yo amo el... sería. I love, I love, I ¿Hay es? alguien más de los compañeros ahí cerca? Ahí? Ajá, this shoes. Uh, señorita Irma. Hola, teacher. ¿Hay alguien más de la clase por allí? Sí, que justamente bueno, estoy en casa de María Pifania. Ah, <ríe> Acá estamos con, con, Marta, con Marta Marisol y María. Ah, pues van a dar copia, loco. Ajá, entonces por eso se escucha la voz de ella. Y lo... Ah, cabal. Sí. Así que ahí le voy a pedir copia. Le de copia. No, es que no dice. No dice que no. 
<risa> estos, estos, des, sería des. I love des, Ari, Ari. Des, Sí. I love this. Sí, esos pendientes. I show them have a thing all, all this chocolate. Esos chocolates sería da, eh, that, perdón. No, no, es dos, 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 y eso que estoy en una esquina yo para que no me escuche la arambulla. Que hay pisto, no es. I think tomar café, me gusta. Tomar esos cafés, esto no es. I think. Dos. No, es, es el, el café, pero como el... el, el Dice como la, como la marca, ¿verdad? No, su, la, su no es... la cafetería. Ah, ok. De uh -huh. esa sería, entonces, de esa uh -huh. sería... That's... De esa, ¿verdad? De esa... Sí, that sería, ¿verdad? I think this cafe is too noisy. I think this cafe because this. you are inside the cafe, right? Ah, okay. uh -huh. okay. you are inside the cafe. That's why you say, I this. think this cafe is too noisy. Let's finish our drinks and go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. This person doesn't like the noise. Is no happy with the noise. That's why he doesn't like to be there in that cafe. Okay. It's a cafe tibia. Cafe tibia. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, uh... That's. The eighteen number four. I children have eaten all these chocolates are in feel six. I feel sick. Ah. Number five. Uh, yes. Esos todos, a ver, con, no debería de haber comido todos esos chocolates. Ajá. 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 Sí. Uh, Ajá. Sí. 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 Dos no serán. Ajá, ellos comieron chocolate. Y aquí dice, I shouldn't have eaten all, eat, eaten all, yeah. all the chocolates. Yeah. I feel sick. Ah, pues, do, dos. Dos. Ah. And number five, 
I think I think this coffee coffee is so nice. Uh, I think it's this. this uh huh. Coffee. This see. Creo que estos cafés. I think this. Eh, yo creo que es este café es muy ruidoso. Sí. Finalicemos nuestro día y vamos a, a otro lugar. Entonces ellos están ahí. Ajá, de café, es... like a place here, right? Ajá, like a place. It's a place. And finish all this and go somewhere else. Let's finish our rings and go somewhere else. Uh -huh. Go to the lado. I like city. Yeah, I like I like the city. So, uh, I think that these cafes are too loud. How many cafes? In what cafe are you? Number five. <laughs> no, but the cafe. In what cafes are you? Only one. Only el ruidoso one. no es el café que se está tomando, es la cafetería. Es la que el, el, el lugar, uh -huh. el, place. Uh -huh. el lugar, exactly. place. Uh -huh. mm, that place. El cafetería es the one that is noisy. Mm -hmm. El café que se está tomando, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sí. I think it's that you no know, let me fin let me finish our rings and go somewhere else. I am strong imagine no le llega las patas okay sorry <laughs> Ay, soy a mí que no hay la Es que no lo dice. Es que nosotros así fregamos. <risa> Ay, María es la no. terrible, ¿verdad? Ay, Pero teacher, usted no ha escuchado a Irma. Irma lo que se quitaste de aquí. <risa> 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 Ay, con razón. Y hoy es día de pijamada, por lo que veo. Sí, sí, teacher. No es que es que este viaje desde como en Semana Santa lo tenían que supuestamente iban a venir a mi casa y nunca venían. Entonces hoy salimos tarde y, y como yo vivo, vengo de trabajar de, de casi de Zaragoza y vivo aquí en cerca de Alta Vista, wow. en mi centro. Alta Vista. Entonces el trayecto es súper, o sea, no tanto lejos, sino el tráfico. Sí, te queda bien lejos. No, de sí. hecho, sí. Súper lejos. Sí. No, mejor ahí. Ah. Pero, 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 p
aquí de Cabana está tomorrow is Saturday. Yes, tomorrow is Saturday. I have the part of the night. You missed it one, but that one more minute and then we leave. Okay, teacher. Hey, Irma. Oh. Let's erase the line here. Don't you like? I see almost, almost everybody here. What do you have in number one? That's, that's. Tell me the complete sentence. Read the complete sentence. Say the chef. Do you like this? Shoes. I'm wearing mm -hmm. about them in a salad. A salad. Yes, I bought them in a sale. Okay, what about number two? I like this. Where is the shirt? I like this shirt. Camisa. Sí. Suponiendo que el amigo está cerca, usted dice this. Si el amigo estuviera lejos, usted podría decir that. I like that shirt. That. Ajá. Eh, pero pero uh -huh. yo no nada, ¿verdad? Porque la, se la está poniendo, la está vistiendo su amigo. Entonces, no sabe dónde está parado el amigo. Si el amigo está cerca de usted, podríamos usar this. Pero si está parado, solo salió del vestidero, por decir algo. Del, vestidor y usted está sentado por allá mirándolo, podría decir, hmm, I like that shirt. It looks really good on you. It depends on the distance. Right? Uh, what about number three? I like I love I love this plural. I like those shoes. Those shoes. I like those earrings you're wearing. I like those those earrings you're wearing. Porque los está vistiendo quién? El otro, la otra persona. I like those, ray, those earrings you're wearing. They are present. What about number four? I shouldn't have eaten all. ¿Por qué dos? Porque estamos hablando en pasado. Ya se los comió. Ahí la metí en la ¿Verdad? Ya se los comió. So I should have eaten all those chakras. I feel sick. Number five. I think. That's cafe too. That's coffee. ¿A dónde está usted? I like this coffee. 
¿A dónde está usted? ¿Está afuera del café o adentro del café? Sí, adentro, teacher. Ajá, entonces vamos a decir this. I think this café is too noisy. Let's finish our drink and go somewhere else. What about number six? I like this city. I like this city. I've been living here since I was little. Jesus. What are you doing? Those. Aquí están nuestros secretos, still. What are you doing these days? Are you still at college? ¿Qué haces estos días? Todavía está en el colegio, right? And the last one, who's? That. Over there. That car. Who's that, Who's that car over there? It's in my space. My space. Porque dice over there, tiene que ser that. ¿Verdad? Okay. Questions here? No questions? No questions. Okay. Vaya. Now let's complete this exercise in your manual. Choose the correct option to complete. Number one, teacher. Uh -huh. How could you buy something like this? Uh -huh. How could you buy something like this? Because it's in, you, in your hand. In, in your hand. Okay. It's in the person's hand. What about the next one? Number two, 
B. C. The force just are very heavy. Uh -huh. Because, because, because they are on your lap. On your lap. Lap. Exactly. They are on your lap. So we say those. I have to wear. This. Mm -hmm. This. shoes. I have to wear these comfortable shoes I bought. And the person says that while walking. Yeah. And um, can you bring me? This. Allá está en la casa de en la casa, no en el des en ganas. En el des that. That, ¿verdad? Can you bring me that cup I left? En ganas. Aquí tendría que ser on a menos que lo haya dejado en la gaveta del escritorio de Ana. En la gaveta no, no lo puede señalar. ¿Verdad? Entonces, hagan el cambio ahí. Que tiene que ser un. Can you bring me that cup I left on Ana's desk? Porque para que lo pueda ver es que está encima del desk. Si no, si estuviera dentro de la gaveta... No habría manera de que lo vea. A ver, number five. Number five. What about number five? This. Talking about a picture hanging on the wall. No está aquí en el álbum, está allá. ¿Verdad? Está en la pared. That's. Uh -huh. Ah, parece. No. ¿Verdad? Yeah. Uh, oh. Those. Exacto. Those are Mr. Pineda's children. Those. Que está allá en la pared. Entonces tengo que sentir. ¿Verdad? Those. Those are Mr. Pineda's children. And number six. In this. Mm -hmm. También está hanging on the, on the wall. Is that. In that picture, in that picture, you see my wife and daughter. In that picture, no está allí, este, en el álbum. No se la está enseñando en la foto en el en el en el cell phone, sino que le está señalando en la foto que está en la pared. ¿Verdad? Any questions here? No questions. Now, remember, a part of asking or talking about demonstrative, in this unit, we, we were also using can and we were using could. Remember we said uh, that we use could to be more polite. See? ¿Se acuerdan en qué contexto utilizamos quién and could? ¿Se acuerdan? Le voy a mostrar un What can you do about that problem? ¿Se acuerdan en qué contexto usamos can and could? 
pain como en el can. presente y could como pasado, algo así. Can. Can is like a request and a possibility. Ah, 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 ah. Los dos están en lo correcto. Can is for present, could is for past. Eso sí estamos hablando de ability. Si no, si estamos hablando de possibility o hablando de requests, cuando hablamos de requests, eh, can es menos polite que could. ¿Sí? Si yo estoy hablando de can or could, could is more polite than can. Can is informal. Can is informal. Can is informal. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Oh, vamos a ver. Sí. Lo voy a mandar en parejas. En grupo. En grupo porque parejo no, mucho. Bueno. Sí, sí. Ay, aquí me quedo solito. Ya no mando Erling, solo veo al dos lo voy a mandar. Okay, okay. No Erling, try to join number two. Está en el libro. El libro. What can you... ¿Cómo? No, permítame, permítame. Ahorita, pero me están andando buscando. Estás es en el libro, ¿verdad, Arely? Hola. En el libro eso está, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿Te puedo en, en la, en la página 28. Teacher. Uh -huh. en, en qué página otra las preguntas? 28. That's page 28. Oh. Okay. Ya lo encontraron. Con page 28. Sí. Ok. Ah, ahí está. Ah, o sea, vamos a hacer la pregunta y, y poner la respuesta. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Mm, this is what can you? Podría 
decir, teacher, ¿qué, es, qué puedes tú? Digamos, ¿qué puedes tú hacer? Algo así. What can you do? Uh -huh. O podemos poner, what can you do in your company? También está bien. What can you do in your company? In your company. In your company? Yes. What can you do in your company? Okay. What? In you in your company. Your company. What can you do? Um, I I make some invoice. Um, ah, pero, pero no me confundan el what can you do con what you what do you have to do, ¿verdad? Ah, okay, okay. Porque el what can you do es como qué puedes hacer. Ajá. Yo puedo llegar tarde o yo puedo invitar amigos a la oficina. Yo puedo comer en el escritorio, yo puedo hablar de película, yo puedo usar mi película. ¿Cómo qué cosa puede hacer allí? Listen to music. Hay quien listen to music. Muy bien. Okay. Um, when could you? When could you travel? Travel to another country. It is in the si ponemos where can you go in stick tricky algo así creo que se pronuncia. ¿Cómo? ¿Dónde puedes comprar camisas? Where do you buy shirt? Where can you go buy strict? Algo así que se pronuncia camisa. Shirt. 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 O t-shirt. Es el número 3. Ajá. Where can you buy? Where can you buy? Ajá. I la respuesta sería I buy the teacher my teacher in in Simon. Simán, La número dos, ¿qué? la número dos, ¿cómo la hizo? Ah, la número dos, Kuti, dice, when could you travel to another country? O, ahí se puede poner un país, ¿verdad? When could you when, travel, when? travel to, to Spain or to France? Uh -huh. or, ok, when could you travel to another country? 
Yes. Uh, um, another um, she. Um, Hello, teacher. Sorry, ahorita me estaba terminando de acomodar, pero okay. solo es el punto cuatro, ¿verdad, teacher? El, el can and sí. could. Sí, el otro okay. ya lo hicimos. Ah, ok. Es que se venía manejando, no, no, no pude escuchar bien, pero... Ok, yo ahorita ya hice una, Mauricio, no sé si, si lo vemos. Sí, yeah. Ok. Ajá, a ver. En el what can you, yo puse, eh, what can you do, do to get your dreams? No sé si está bien así, teacher. How can you get your dreams? No, repeat the question. What can you do to get your dreams? Como, ¿qué puedes hacer tú para alcanzar tus sueños? Mm -hmm. Sure, it's okay. Okay, and the answer is, I can prepare myself professionally and, pers and personally. Okay, great, great. Okay, and two... Uh, when could you come my house? Sería así, come. When could you? When could you come my house? ¿Cuándo podrías venir a mi casa? When could you come to my house? To my house, okay. When could you come to my house? Okay. And the answer sería, I could go. Go, go to your house. Go to to your house, Ria. Mm -hmm. I could go, go to, to your, your house. Oh, um, someday. Okay. Okay. Ah, ahorita solo he hecho <laughs>
Παραποτε όταν Teacher, um, when could you put this myth? When could um, you? When could you do? When could you this myth? When could we meet? Yeah. Okay. When could mm -hmm. we meet? Sí. We could meet y le completa ahí la respuesta. Sonda. Mm -hmm. We will this song. How could you eat this cake, this mm -hmm. Ay, ay, no, a la no me sé. How could you eat this cake with coffee? <laughs> coffee with a yeah. I mean. yes. But coffee with no sugar, with black coffee. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sugar. Mm -hmm. What about que, where? ¿Cómo preguntaríamos con where? Where? Hey, where, where can, uh, where can you, no, where can see you? ¿Dónde puedo where verte? can I see you? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Where, where can, can I see, see you? you? Nice. Y Carla hey, dijo... Where? Who can you dance with? Who can you dance this song? Y ahí agréguele, <coughs> agréguele with. Who can you dance this song with? ¿Con quién? ¿Con quién puedes bailar esta canción? <laughs> ¿Verdad? Who can you dance this song with? Mm -hmm. Nice. And the last one, why? Finish, finish here. Yeah, Cassie, teacher. Solo una question. Eh, por ejemplo, en la question number four, puede ser, how could, how could you get more profit from the product? Yeah, how can you make more profits? Sure. En respuesta, puede ser, how, how make strategies, strategies, ¿Cómo se dice estrategia, teacher? Strategies. Strategies, that's product. Ajá. We could make some strategies for this product. Nice. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, y otra también puede ser también que hemos puesto how, how can you how can you recommend to buy that cheapest product? ¿O cómo se puede decir eh, Mm, comprar o recomendar para comprar producto más barato mm -hmm. ¿Cómo sería 
How El... could, could we, how could you buy? How could you buy cheapest product? How, how could you buy? Uh -huh. How could you buy cheapest product? Así sería, eso sería la estructura correcta, ¿verdad? O cheaper product. Uh -huh. sí. cheaper, cheaper product. Cheaper, cheaper sin S. How uh -huh. could you buy cheaper product? Ok, cheaper, cheaper, cheaper product. Cheaper. Mm -hmm. How could you buy cheaper product? Okay, yes. the response would be, Carlos. Going to a big store, right? Mm -hmm. Or buying more, buying a big quantity. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Y en uh -huh. no, la otra que dice, why, why call you, shell, shell is faster, that's me. O como how venderlo could, más rápido. Ah, how could you sell faster than me? Sí. Sí, ¿verdad? How, sí, how could And you sell faster than me? La respuesta sería, it's lower the solid, solid, solid price. Mm -hmm. The sales. Because Sell, I have, sales. Uh -huh, because I have some sales. Sería como bajar el precio de, de la Porque de venta. Puse, puse ofertas. Ajá. Ah, puse, ok. Puse ofertas. Y como puse ofertas, vean, aquí no más. Sí. <risa> ah, ok, teacher. Ajá. Ok, nice, nice. I guess you finished, right? Yes. Let's go, team. Let's go. Forty seconds. Oh, it's it's about to start the rain here. Thirty seconds. Vamos a ver en six seconds. Ok. Pacha, hoy sí. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Who will be my volunteers? Number one. ¿Quién me dice el number one? Uh -huh, Ireland, number one. Eh... No, no, no. What can you see? Yo tengo una teacher, pero no sé si estaría bien. Yes, tell me, William. What can you cook for dinner? What can you cook for dinner? I can cook. Yes, no problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, sí, verdad. What can you cook for dinner? Usted dice, mm, well, I can cook chicken. Or yes. I can cook beans with fried banana. Can you cook? Can you chicken? I can cook chicken. I can cook chicken. Yeah, I can cook chicken. Ah, nice. Who wants to do number two?
Number two, when could you? When could you do this meet? When could you? Could this meet? Meet? Could you meet? ¿A dónde pueden enviar el you para we? When could we meet? ¿Verdad? Okay. I could meet Sunday. We could meet on Sunday. Okay. Nice. Bien. When could you help me study English? <laughs> I have a question. When could you help me study English? I could help you on Sunday. Right? What about number three? Where? Where, Alexa? Where, where can I see you? Where can I see you? Very good. Where can I see you? Where can you travel on your next vacation? Right? Where can you sit down? Where can you work? Right there are many things you can ask me. Um, what about number four? How could you? How could, How could you, you help me? How could you help me? Yes, maybe. How could you help me with this exercise? And number five, who can you? How can you swim? Who can you see? Swim. Okay. Who can you see? Who can you invite to the party? Who can you talk to, right? And the last one, why could you? Why could you? Remember, why is for reason, right? Why could you? Why could you be more polite? Now, why could you be Why could you open the door? Why could you stay? Okay, so you can. Huh. Right? So you're asking for reason, asking the person to explain our ways. Any questions so far here? Question? No, teacher. No? Okay, nice. No. Good. Well, we're going to stop checking, sharing. And we go for the attendance, right? Let's see. Uh, Abner Adoni. Abner. Alexa. Present teacher. Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa. Bueno. Ana Luisa. No está en el salón. Eh, André. Angie. Angie. Hola, Angie. ¿Alguien vio a Angie? No. No, teacher. Yo ya había enviado un poquito de información. Eh, Arely. Present, teacher. Annie Erling. 
I'm a young teacher. Firma. Present teacher. Carla. Maria. Present teacher. Carla, sí, recuerdo de la vista que andaba. Present teacher. Carla. Present teacher. ¿A dónde está? Me permite, teacher. Ah, ya la vi. Es que como en eso hablaban, se movían los nombres y yo decía, ¿dónde está Carla? ¿Verdad que sí está enfermita, Carlita, todavía? Ana Luisa está enferma. Vamos a ver, ok. María. Present teacher. Marta. Present teacher. Mauricio. Present teacher. Miguel. Nancy. Present. Oscar. Oscar no está. Silvia. Present teacher. Ursula. Present teacher. William. Present. Nice. Nice, nice. Hoy es clase 10. Se queda. Ay, madre. Ya le voy a arruinar su pijama. <risa> <risa> María se queda conmigo un ratito. Ok, teacher. Oh, eso es horrible. Bueno, see you, to, see you. No, tomorrow no. See you Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Check in, Morphe. Check in, check in, check in, que no me deben este plataforma hoy, que no me deben examen, porque yo al terminar de hablar con, con, con María voy a revisar plataforma. Ya recogí notas, Santier, pero vamos a darle la actualizada correspondiente al viernes. Entonces, chequen eso. Si me deben algo, ahí para que lo puedan completar. Bueno, bueno, bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Take care. Goodbye. 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 Have a nice weekend. See you. Hi, Maria. Hello, teacher. Se me quedaron conectado pero ya ah. okay how are you today I'm fine teacher I'm just very tired I imagine But yes you won't, you won't sleep you have a pajama party you won't sleep <laughs> yes <laughs> in the pajamas party you're not supposed to sleep right <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, tell me, do you have any questions about this week? Uh, no, teacher, everything is okay. I uh, just only have the problem with the homework, the parts, the homework 10, the parts 4. Uh, two, two questions, I, I, I don't know how to, to make. Because I make, but always it's wrong. <laughs> uh, by his homework 10. Part number four. Part. Question four. Confirm the method of payment. Yes, it's a no instruction on scrape the following sentence. Part number four, teacher. Ah, entonces en el examen. In el exam, yes. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, uh, no sé qué pasa.
Peace. I would like to change this product. In the number two, we wouldn't like to stay in this field. A veces el apóstrofe no le gusta. La, la, la primera y la segunda, teacher, que dice change, a, eh, que como que ordena la oración, ¿verdad? Ajá. Vaya, change, a, le, le puse al inicio, pero... Póngale, I would like, el problema ahí es que se omitieron el like y tiene que llevarlo, porque es... Ah, verdad, porque I yo... I would like to change I... this product. I would like... To change. Eh, otro ratito. Eh, a ver. La otra es, we wouldn't like to stay in this place, pero copia el wouldn't y lo pega, porque si no, no se lo... We va. wouldn't like, we would, ¿verdad que es sin el wouldn't? No. We wouldn't like, pero el wouldn't, cópielo y lo pega, porque el apóstrofe no agarra veces. ¿Mande? El apóstrofe no agarra, es que el que tenemos en nuestra compu nunca lo va a aceptar. Ah, entonces no, lo tengo que copiar y copia. pegar. Sí, copie la palabra wouldn't de ahí. Ah, ok, permítame, voy a ver. We wouldn't like to stay in this place. We would like to stay in this place, or we wouldn't like to stay in this place. We like to stay in this place. No, we wouldn't. We wouldn't like. We wouldn't like to stay in this place. We wouldn't like to stay in this place. We wouldn't. We wouldn't like to stay in this place. Ajá. Pero me sale mala. Verdad, no sé qué pasa. Sí. Porque sí. I would like to change this product. Igual me sale mala. Está mal. We wouldn't. Sí. Y la respuesta sugerida no da. We wouldn't like to stay in this place. Like to stay in this place. Okay. Uh -huh. Bueno, quizás me voy a volver a meter después porque a veces cuando yo lo he intentado y me salgo, lo vuelvo a hacer, ya me aparece bien. No es que como que tiene error. Sí, verdad, ya lo voy a... Tiene error porque la puse y no me la sacó. Ah, va. Ah, pues no quiere punto. Bye. Póngale la W mayúscula y no le ponga punto al final. Okay. Porque no quiere punto. Debería de, ¿verdad? Porque pues sí. Es sí. una razón. Y debería de tener punto. We wouldn't like to stay in this place. Uh -huh. We wouldn't like to stay in this place. Pero esto sí. Es pero sin el punto, pónganlo. Y copia. Ok, ya. Ahorita. Hoy me salió, quiero ver la... <ríe> la número dos me sale mala. We wouldn't like to stay in, like to stay in this place. Ajá. Sí, así la tengo. Ajá, mal. sí, bien raro. Se la voy a pegar en el chat porque fíjense que, ajá, yo la había escrito bien, pero igual 
sí. me, daba, me daba error. Mm, bye. Ahí sí, solo con esas dos es que tenía. Ahí se la pegué. Es que ajá, la uno porque tiene error, ¿verdad? No acepta. Sí, ya la, ya la, ya la corregí. Y la otra, me imagino yo que se lo que a la letra. Porque yo creo no, que quiere, sí. no quiere el, el apóstrofe que nosotros tenemos, pero tampoco quiere la combinación de esta letra de la compu de uno con la de otro, la otra compu de la programada. <risa> <risa> Entonces, me imagino yo, ¿verdad? Me imagino yo que por eso es que no quiere. Okay. Sí, ya la voy a ver. Sí, ¿verdad? Ya le, ya le. Ahí se la pegué en el chat para que... ¿Ah? Okay, Vaya, Así sí ya la acepta. Ah, ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Vaya okay. pues, María. A ok. Descans a descansar entonces y, y hasta el otro sábado. El otro hasta sábado. El lunes. El otro lunes. Okay. <risa> Cuídese, teacher. Bye. Sí. Bye. Ok, bye. feliz fin de semana. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you, you too. Take care. Thank you.